Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Artificial Intelligence, the latest craze that's driving all the people wild. We asked Google Bard and ChatGPT to make today's episode. All the words here were thought up by a robot. No human input was really used for this. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that dinghy. Here are today's actors. Playing the voice of Kak, the narrator, and sound effects and narration cues will be me, Kek. Playing the voice of Nerd Jared and Bill Murray will be Jared. Playing the voice of TJ and various background laughter will be TJ. <laughs> we hope you enjoy, and now, without further ado, our show. Hey there, party people! It's Cack from Rage You Nerds, and today we've got a blockbuster show with TJ, the thespian extraordinaire, and Jared, the man who judges movies like it's an Olympic sport. Thanks for having me, Cack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and hold. <laughs> Olympic sport! Hey, I like the sound of that. <laughs> so, guys, the actor strike is the... <laughs> Shit. So guys, the actor strike is like the Avengers assembling against the evil studio overlords. What's the latest drama in Tinseltown? Well, the studio's playing hardball, Cack. They're acting like they've never met a thespian who can do a soliloquy on an empty stomach. It's like they've never seen a superhero origin story. We need our hero moment. I can already see the posters. The Thespians Revolt, coming soon to a picket line near you. But seriously, what are the actors demanding besides unlimited espressos in their trailers? We're asking for a minimum wage that won't have us eating ramen noodles every night. And, you know, basic stuff like health care and retirement plans. Because nothing says glamorous Hollywood like an actor choosing between a retirement plan and a new script. True that. Now, if Hollywood were a movie, this would be the part where the hero, or in this case, actors, face their biggest obstacle. What are the studio's big bad move? Or what's the studio's big bad move? They're tight-fisted about a minimum wage. It's like asking them to part with their firstborn. And they're trying to make it harder for us to unionize. The nerve. It's like they're allergic to the idea of treating actors like humans. Who would have thought? Unbelievable! Next, we'll hear they want actors to bring their own red carpet to the premieres. So, what's the game plan now, Avengers? We fight. We're standing strong and we're asking the audience to stand with us by boycotting the studios that are on strike. Let's make this the biggest box office bomb they've ever seen. <laughs> All right, scene. Now, let's get down and dirty into the nitty gritty. TJ, spill the beans. What's the deal with this $20 per hour minimum wage demand? It's not about buying a gold-plated espresso machine, CAC. It's about making sure you have enough... You <laughs> And hold... <laughs> It's about making sure even the fresh face, just out of acting school talents, can afford more than just instant noodles. Exactly. We're not demanding diamond studded dressing rooms. We just want a slice of the Hollywood pie. And who doesn't love pie? <laughs> now, Jared, as our resident movie critic, do you see the strike affecting the quality of content? Absolutely, Cack. Imagine trying to film an emotional scene where everyone's stomach is growling. It's like trying to make a masterpiece with hangry actors. And let's not forget the crew. The lighting guys need snacks, too. Snacks. The unsung heroes of Hollywood. But seriously, folks, how's the public responding to this call for solidarity? It's a mixed bag, CAC. Some are all in, but there's a group out there who think we're just trying to get more caviar in our green rooms. Because clearly, we all have personal green rooms in our homes, right? Of course! I have a green room, too. It's called the kitchen. <laughs> On a serious note, <laughs> any sleb endorsements or surprising allies? 
We've got some A-listers throwing their support on social media. It's like a digital red carpet for justice. And the more, the merrier. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. Might try to sneak that in without getting sued. Yo, nerdy nation, get ready. Get blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yo, nerdy nation, get ready for a wild ride because our favorite deodorizer is here to funk your farts. That's right, it's Snoop Dogg's Doo Doo Deodorizer, the spray that transforms your toots into a magical marijuana. <laughs> the spray that. <laughs> The spray that transforms your toots into a magical marijuana mist. Imagine your gas making. <laughs> Imagine your gas making people question if they've accidentally stepped into a Snoop concert. That's the power of doo doo deodorizer. <laughs> Add that at post. <laughs> so. You're at a party, right? You feel the pressure building. You're about to unleash a symphony of stink. Just a quick spritz of Snoop Dogg's doo-doo deodorizer, and suddenly your butt blasts smell like a VIP pass to the green room. (laughs) It's the ultimate party trick. You'll have everyone scratching their heads, wondering if you're secretly puffing on the good stuff. And the best part, our formula is so hush-hush, even the Illuminati can't track the scent code. (laughs) (laughs) Order now and you'll score a limited edition air freshener shaped like Snoop's favorite. Order now and you'll (laughs) receive... Order now and you'll... You'll... Order now, and you'll score a limited edition air freshener shaped like Snoop's favorite leaf. Hang it proudly and let the world know you're behind his dropping beats. Ah, So whether you're gaming, podcasting, or just chilling in your mom's basement, make your gas game legendary with Snoop Dogg's Doo-Doo Deodorizer. Elevate your emissions and grab yours today. Because when life hands you gas, make it smell like grass. Keep it nerdy and keep it funky. <laughs> I'm crying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, nerds. Now let's talk long term effects. If the demands are met, will Hollywood become a utopia of fair treatment and unicorn sightings? We're hoping for a Hollywood where every actor can afford to take risks and pursue passion without fearing eviction. It's not too much to ask for, right? A Hollywood where the only drama is on the screen. Amen to that! But seriously, do you think this could lead to a revolution in workers' rights discussions in the industry? Absolutely. It's kind of like the domino effect. First actors, then the crew, and before you know it, everyone's getting a slice of the pie. It's time for Hollywood to be a role model, not just in storytelling, but also in treating its workers right. Well said. Now, any final messages for our listeners before we wrap this up? We're not wrapping this up. (laughs) (laughs) To our listeners, we're not just fighting for ourselves. We're fighting for an industry that respects and values everyone who brings stories to life. And if you're planning on movie night, maybe consider some indie films for now. Show the studios we mean business. You heard it here, nerds. Support the cause and let's turn Hollywood into a blockbuster of fairness. TJ, Jared, thank you for keeping it real on Rage You Nerds. And now... (laughs) Now let's dive into a whole new dimension of the actor strike. The mythical... Or, shit. The mystical realm of demands and negotiations. TJ, spill the gossip. What's the tea on these demands? Oh, you know, just the usual. A modest $20 per hour minimum wage, some health insurance so we can afford to go see a doctor instead of, instead of consulting Dr. Google, and retirement plans because even superheroes need a golden sunset. Retirement plans for actors? That's like asking a unicorn. That's like asking for a unicorn stable in Hollywood. Retirement unicorns? Now that's the box. Bo- 
shit. <laughs> Retirement unicorns? Now that's the blockbuster I'd pay to see. But seriously, do you think the studios are being reasonable in their resistance? It's like negotiating with a villain who insists on trying you, er, tying you to... Hold on. <coughs> It's like negotiating with a villain who insists on tying you to the train tracks while twirling their mustache. They can do better, CAC. Exactly. We're not asking for gold-plated trailers. We just want a fair share of the box office magic. Fair share and magic, the two essential ingredients in the Hollywood potion. But hey, let's get real for a moment. What's the impact of this strike on the industry? Crew members, behind-the-scenes magic, spill the beans. Productions are on a pause. Crew members are feeling the heat, and Hollywood accountants are probably having nightmares about plummeting profit margins. It's like a movie set with no popcorn. Incomplete and a little bit sad. A movie set without popcorn? Now that's a horror movie I never want to watch. But what's next? How are you planning to keep the momentum going? We're going to keep fighting, keep standing strong, and keep reminding the public... That when they support us, they're supporting fair treatment for everyone in the industry. And we're encouraging everyone to hit the studios where it hurts, in the box office. Choose wisely when picking your movie night selections. Choose wisely, nerds! Well, TJ, Jared, you've been awesome as always. Thank you for joining us today on Rage You Nerds. Now, let's take a detour from the heavy stuff and dive into the lighter side of the strike, TJ. Jared? How about a quick round of Hollywood charades? I'll give you a movie, and you've got to act it out. Ready? <laughs> Born ready, Cac. Hit us with it. All right, TJ, you're up first. TJ has The Matrix. <laughs> TJ strikes a dramatic pose. I am the one, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, my turn. Titanic Jared has Titanic. <laughs> Wait, Titanic was in there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's something that you actually say or what. I think. It, I think it's something that you say, and then I have to act out. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Because right. you're right. the man. All right. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, Titanic. I'm TJ flying, holds arms Rose. out like Jack. <laughs> we got. This is basically radio. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta do the. The word I'm prompt. flying, Rose. Ha ha ha! Fantastic. All right, Jared, your turn. Jurassic Park. That was more of a Wookie. Clever <laughs> girl. <laughs> Classic. All right, one more round. Cax pick. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Starts running in place. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, Cac. <laughs> All right, nerds. Enough goofing around. Let's get back to business. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've got an ad break now. <laughs> Hey there, fellow nerds, TJ from Rage You Nerds here, and I've got something hilarious to share with you. You've heard of regular toilet paper, but get ready for a revolution in bathroom comedy. It's the Witty Wipe! Imagine this, you're doing your business, minding your own business, and suddenly your toilet paper starts talking. But not just any talking, we're talking the smooth, sarcastic voice of the one and only Bill Murray. Well, isn't this a glamorous moment? I hope you brought a magazine, pal. That's right. Woody Wipe is the TP that's not afraid to sass you. It's the bathroom experience you never knew you needed. Bill Murray, the king of dry humor, now guiding you through the throne room. Oh, look at you multitasking. Scrolling through your phone while on the throne. Real efficient. And it's not just about the jokes. It's about efficiency. Witty Wipes is two-ply, so you get the comfort and the comedy without sacrificing quality. Because we believe in soft, strong, and sarcastic. Ah, uh, the classic fold or crumple debate really makes you ponder life's greatest mysteries. But that's not all. Order now and we'll throw in a free air freshener that smells like Bill Murray's favorite movie set snack. Fresh popcorn scent. Even... <laughs> 
because even your bathroom breaks should have a blockbuster ambiance. I hope you're not planning on singing in there. The acoustics are terrible. So if you're tired of the same old bathroom routine, spice it up with the Witty Wipe. Bill Murray's voice, quality TP, and a touch of bathroom banter. Get yours now and make your bathroom the talk of the town. Stay nerdy, stay witty, and keep it clean, my friends. And we're back, nerds! We just took a detour into the wild world of Hollywood charades, but now let's turn to the. But now let's return to the heart of the matter. TJ, Jared, any final words before we sign off? Charades was fun, Cac. We should do that more often. <laughs> yeah, but I've got to work on my T Rex roar slash Wookie. It needs some improvement. <laughs> Holy shit! It knew. <laughs> 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 Damn, oh, chat GPT oh is my good. god! Oh my god, the AI knew! <laughs> Alright. Uh, AI was like, there's no way he can do a T Rex. It's gonna sound like a Wookiee. <laughs> uh, practice makes perfect, Jared. Now, on a more serious note, Let's talk about the impact of the strike on the industry. I think we just did this. TJ, how are the crew members handling the pause in production? It's tough, Cac. Many of them are freelancers, and this strike hits them right in the paycheck. It's not just about the actors. It's about the entire ecosystem. Absolutely. It's like a movie set without a supporting cast. The crew is the backbone, and when they're hurting, the whole industry feels it. It's a domino effect for sure. Now, let's shift gears a bit. I'm curious, what's the most bizarre or hilarious experience you've had on a movie set related to strikes or not? <laughs> oh, I once had a director who thought every scene needed a random dance number, even the intense dramatic ones. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a musical waiting to happen. Movie sets, where the unexpected becomes the norm. Jared, any memorable moments from your time on sets? <laughs> Well, one time, I was interviewing a famous actor, and their pet parrot kept interrupting with some choice words. I swear, I almost got scooped up. I swear, I almost got scooped by a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you win, Jared. I've had weird directors, but a parrot stealing the spotlight, that's next level. It was like a scene out of a comedy. Unexpected and hilarious. Movie sets. <laughs> where the reality outshines fiction. Now, before we wrap up, any advice for expire <laughs> for expiring? <laughs> any expiring advice? <laughs> any advice for aspiring actors or those dreaming of making it big in Hollywood? Stay true to yourself. It's a tough industry, but authenticity is your superpower. <laughs> and don't be afraid to take risks. The best stories come from those willing to step out of their comfort zones. Wise words, my friends. Well, nerds, we've had our laughs, our serious moments, and our T-Rex roars. <laughs> Until next time, keep chasing those Hollywood dreams, stay nerdy, and keep it real on Rage You Nerds. And there you have it, folks, another epic episode of Rage You Nerds in the books. A massive shout-out to our incredible hosts, Cac, TJ, and Jared, for keeping it real and entertaining. Stay tuned for more nerdy goodness, and a reminder, even in the midst of Hollywood drama, we're all just nerds navigating the chaos. Until next time, stay nerdy, stay raging, and keep those earbuds ready for the next adventure on Rage You Nerds. The spray that transforms your toots into a magical marijuana. <laughs> the spray that the spray that transforms your toots into a magical marijuana mist. Uh, imagine your gas making. <laughs>